How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Monitor Comics, the channel where we create comics and manga. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, then I hope you can check out some of my other videos after you finish watching this one. In today's video, we're going to be talking about soft magic systems and hard magic systems in shonen manga. This video is going to be a part 2 of my how to create shonen power systems video. Make sure you watch this video in its entirety because we'll be going over everything you need to know about creating soft magic systems and hard magic systems for your comics, manga, and webtoon projects. But first, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Recently, I've been using Squarespace's professional portfolio and gallery designs to present my work on my own personal website. What's really cool is there are so many different gallery options to choose from. You can even create password protected pages to share work with clients. Just take a look at this really cool website I created. I now have a central hub to show off all of my graphic novel projects, YouTube videos, and contact information. In just a few clicks, you can do the same. Another feature I've been playing around with is the connected social media interface. Using Squarespace, I can display posts from all of my different social media accounts right on my website. I can even push website content to my social media accounts so my followers can easily share it around. Head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash monitor comics to save 10% off your very first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to the video. Let's recap. What exactly is a power system? A power system is an in-universe system that explains the extraordinary powers and abilities of the characters in your story. Power systems should follow a set of defined and precise rules. Certain agreed upon factors make a power system good, such as creativity, strength, drawbacks, and limits. Some power systems from popular manga include the Devil Fruits from One Piece, Men from Hunter x Hunter, the Elemental Breathing Techniques from Demon Slayer, Quirks from My Hero Academia, Alchemy from Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood, and Curse Energy in Jujutsu Kaisen. So then, what is a soft magic system and a hard magic system? These terms were coined by renowned fantasy author Brandon Sanderson. Sanderson is most famous for the Wheel of Time series, the Mistborn trilogy, and the Stormlight Archive. Sanderson's success in fantasy writing has many considering him to be the foremost expert on magic systems. Sanderson established the characterization of hard magic systems and soft magic systems when formulating the three laws of magic. To clarify, Sanderson's famous three laws of magic are as follows. Rule 1. The author's ability to resolve conflicts in a satisfying way with magic is directly proportional to how the reader understands said magic. Basically, don't pull things out of thin air. If you want the magic to work, make it real and reliable. Rule 2. Weaknesses are more interesting than powers. Basically, your story's conflict comes from what the magic can't do. Weaknesses force your characters to work harder. Rule 3. Expand, don't add. Basically, don't just add new magic powers for no good reason. Expand upon pre-existing powers and connect them to one another in your fictional world. Fewer, stronger elements are better than a greater number of weaker ones. Sanderson's theories are so well known that many authors reference the fundamentals of soft magic systems and hard magic systems when creating their own magical concepts. Don't be fooled by the word magic in soft magic systems and hard magic systems. The theories found in this concept can be applied to any power system. Typically, the terms soft magic systems and hard magic systems are used when talking about fantasy novels. However, understanding soft magic systems and hard magic systems can be beneficial for your comic, manga, and webtoon projects. The main differences between a soft magic system and a hard magic system is how strict and definitive the magical rules are within your story. Hard magic systems must conform to a concrete set of laws, whereas soft magic systems loosely follow an abstract series of guidelines. First, let's break down hard power systems. A hard power system is a set of established laws that regulate how magic is used and produced within the fictional universe. One advantage of a hard magic system is the concrete rules of hard magic makes it easier to develop the plot, world building, and characters. Another advantage is in hard magic systems, it's easier to convey the different uses of magic to the reader when explicit supernatural laws are in effect. A third advantage of developing a hard magic system is your reader will believe they have a firm grasp on the ins and outs of the magic system in your story. One big disadvantage of hard magic systems is the specified overarching rules limit magical possibilities. Once your system is already established, it becomes harder to add additional features. Another disadvantage of hard magic systems is they constrain the reader by closing their mind off to seeking the bounds of your magic system on their own. Moving on to soft magic systems. A soft magic system can be defined as a system that lacks a precise set of guidelines that regulate magical use and creation in your fictional world. Soft magic systems are a lot more vague than hard magic systems, and sometimes offer very little explanation to how the powers work. This may be justified by characters in your story not knowing enough about the magical phenomena. 
One advantage of developing a soft magic system is that vagueness adds an extra layer of mystery to your story. Another advantage is there are unrestricted possibilities for writers to utilize magic in whichever way they see fit. A third advantage of a soft magic system is it encourages the reader to explore the potential of the magic system all on their own. A disadvantage of creating a soft magic system is writers can lazily resolve complicated plot developments using cop-outs. Another disadvantage of writing soft magic systems is it is more difficult to communicate abstract concepts to the reader. A third disadvantage for developing a soft magic system is there is additional room for error due to greater complexity. It is possible to blend the two magic systems together. In fact, it is actually quite rare for a story to be strictly hard magic or soft magic. Most works of fiction with magical elements are a blend of the two magic systems. The term for this system is a hybrid magic system. A hybrid magic system can be defined as a system where the rules that oversee the use and creation of magic is a blend of concrete and abstract elements. In most cases, predominantly soft magic systems may incorporate subtle elements of hard magic systems such as a slight justification for the magic that exists in your story. Likewise, predominantly hard magic systems may contain aspects that you expect to see in a soft magic system. An example of this might be an element of ambiguity. Maybe your characters are inexperienced and know little to nothing about their powers until later in the story. Now, I want to go over the similarities between soft magic systems and hard magic systems. These characteristics are universal to all magic systems, regardless of how strict or definitive the magical laws are. Similarity 1. History of the Magic System It is common for there to be some sort of backstory that explains when and where the magic in your story comes Comes from. The specific details differ from story to story. Some writers prefer to preserve an element of mystery, while others prefer to reveal every minor detail that may help uncover the roots of the magic system. An extensive past hints that magic existed in the world long before your current timeline. This emphasizes to the reader that this fictional world extends beyond what we see through the protagonist's eyes. For more information about effective world building, please check out my video covering 10 tips for world building in your comics, manga, and webtoon projects. I'll link that video in the description below and in the top right hand YouTube card right now. Similarity 2. Potential Harmful Effects of Magic Writers rarely leave this up for interpretation because then there would be no repercussions for the use of magic. Without repercussions, readers will assume magical users to be invincible because there was no mention of any limitations to hold them back. There must be flaws and weaknesses to your power system to allow for conflict in your story. Similarity 3. Definitive Magical Users You should explicitly address who can and cannot use magic in your story. This is an important element to include because it establishes a precedent for how and why certain characters within your story wield magic. You should distinctively point out who the magical users are in your story so there's no room for confusion during crucial sequences in your story's plot. If you intentionally leave your reader in the dark about who can or cannot use magic, they'll have a hard time following what exactly is happening. Of course, there are exceptions to every rule. Sometimes withholding this information can be beneficial for writing a successful plot twist. Maybe a character who we once thought was powerless reveals that they have had an extraordinary power the entire time. Similarity 4. Relationship with the user. It is common for writers to address the relationship between the magical user and the magic itself. This is true for both soft magic systems and hard magic systems. In some stories, users are able to change the nature of magic in the universe itself. Another relationship may be through exploitation. For example, in some stories when a magic user over extends their magical capabilities, a direct consequence may be fatigue or mental unconsciousness. Now, I want to move on to the differences between soft magic systems and hard magic systems. Difference number one, explicitness of the stated rules. Like I mentioned earlier, this is the most obvious difference between the two magic systems. It is what most writers refer to first when deciding how to label their magic system. To reiterate, hard magic systems definitively lay out all the governing laws of how magic is created and used in your story. There are very few loopholes in hard magic systems. The purpose of laying out a magic system in this way is to present the reader with all of the facts. This strict organization of this type of magic minimalizes confusion, allowing the reader to fully grasp the essence of the supernatural elements found within your fictional universe. Soft magic, on the other hand, does not state any explicit laws that govern magic because there are or may not be any definitive rules in place. Soft magic systems are more conceptual than factual. The purpose of soft magic systems is to leave the prospect of future magical possibilities open-ended. Difference 2. Reasoning for magic use. Hard magic systems must adhere to a rigid line of logic. Once the explanation for magic is established, it is firmly set in stone and ingrained within the very framework of your story. It is important to note that spontaneous supernatural events cannot spring up in a hard magic system without a solid explanation. Soft magic systems have no limitations. Soft magic systems are abstract and conceptual. Magic can materialize on a whim with no explanation necessary. It is important to find a good balance between utilizing this flexibility and not settling for plot-convenient cop-outs. 
Difference number three, future magical possibilities. Magical possibilities are restricted for hard magic systems. Writers cannot create new magical powers along the way as the story progresses. When a new magical power is being considered, it must comply with the explicit rules of the hard magic system itself. These new magical powers must also have supporting reasoning to justify their existence. This new power must also add some literary meaning to your narrative. For example, a reason to introduce a new magical power may be to enhance the descriptiveness of your story's characterization or further complicate your plot structure. On the other hand, soft magic systems are nowhere near as restrictive. A story with this type of magic system could introduce whatever kind of magic they want. Introducing a new magic power should add meaning to your narrative, but at the end of the day, there are no definitive set of rules with this type of magic system. So, which type of magic system is better for your story? It all depends on your personal preference. There are pros and cons for both soft magic systems and hard magic systems. Choose a system that fits with your unique story and personal interests. Regardless of which magic system you choose to use for your story, your creativity and original ideas are going to be what your readers remember you for. Hopefully you got some value out of this video. If you did, please drop this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below telling us about your favorite power system in anime, manga, comics, light novels, novels, or anything else. Remember, you can read my first published manga, Change the World, in Saturday AM's new branch, Pilot Manga. I'll link that along with all of my social media accounts down below. I want to thank you all for your continued support. As always, keep creating everyone, I'll see you all in the next one.